Well, hello to all my subscribers. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Today is April 23rd, 2016. It's a Saturday, and uh, I'm in my good friend Mike's house where I keep my boat during the summer, and we're putting in his docks today. And it looks like we got some extra help from uh, Evan and Chris, who are also some good friends of mine. <clears throat> now, this is Evan's tractor. And thank God for Evan, because he saved us a lot of work with that tractor. He just manhandled those docks into the lake. He didn't break anything. It worked out great. And as you can see, there he is heading down to the back of Mike's house, which he calls it the front, where the docks will be going into the lake. And we have quite a few different sections here we got to put in. If you look, there's probably about eight sections of dock we got to put in. And we're going to get them all off the lawn today and in the lake. It should be a, a pretty fun day. Now normally we do this with a four-wheeler or a 4x4 four four truck, but with the tractor, this makes it so much easier, so much uh, less strenuous. Now you can see I'm out on the docks right there while everyone's watching me. I'm putting the first dock into the water and hooking the chain to the dock. And then I waved everyone and said, okay, it's all set. Now we're ready for the second piece, and uh, I'm going to go back to flying the drone. Seeing how we got the first piece in, that's the hardest, getting that dock line and the chain hooked up, and it's all set, ready for the second piece. Once the first two pieces are in and hooked up, that's, that's the majority of the work because we have two different chains going to each of them. The rest is easy, so I decided oh, I'm going to take a flight all the way over to the Mayfield Lake which is over by the Mayfield uh, Bridge which divides the Sacandaga Lake from the Mayfield Lake a lot of people uh, jump off this bridge which is quite a fall on the Sacandaga side not so high up on the Mayfield side but either way it's up there it's quite a fall and they put up some fences to prevent it but I think kids still jump off it they found a way around it and there's the bridge. And I was up there in the winter during uh, a few guys were ice racing up there with four wheelers. And uh, now that the lake is totally thawed out, there will be lots of boats going in. And I mean lots. Look at the slips. This whole area is full of marinas. <clears throat> and now we're coming around to my dock space. I come to bring it right down, land on the last section of dock. We only got maybe four more pieces and there's the third one in and we get them three hooked to that piece there it is it's starting to take shape we're almost done only three more pieces to add to the dock and we'll be done now here they are getting the last three pieces down to two now this took all day we took our sweet time had a few drinks enjoyed the sun the afternoon was beautiful it was probably about 65 degrees out and uh the sun was very hot in april it felt like midsummer the sun was so hot beating down on us it was a nice day <clears throat> and i went over and buzzed a couple fishermen who also he ha happens to be ben a neighbor of mine Made him a little nervous. He was going to go hide. He thought I was coming right at him. And then I messed with uh, Evan, who uh, he ducked. He didn't realize the braking system of the Phantom once you release. I was just messing with him. Then I flew it over to Wally, see who was in the parking lot. It's a local tavern, which I took a few flights from. And then uh, it was a great day. We got the docks in. Next, we're getting the boats in. Should be a hell of a summer. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, please subscribe.